Idaho Falls Pediatrics, where you supporting kids in our community and seven questions with Emmy. Hey guys, welcome back to Seven Questions with Emmy. Today I'm so excited to talk to Ryan Style. He is well he's here in Idaho doing a show called Who's Live. He was also in the TV show Whose Line Is It Anyways. He's a very great comedian. I'm th- thank you for talking with me today, Ryan. Well thank you. How how old are you? Are you about twenty four, twenty five? No. I'm eight, You're eight, but I'm turning nine next month. Oh, wow. What are you doing on your ninth birthday? I'm going to, I think we're going to go to uh, Yellowstone. Wow. Really? Oh, that's fun. Stay away from the geysers. You don't want to get hurt. No. <laughs> or the bears. Yeah. Stay away from the bears, too. All right, I'm ready for you. Question number one. How did Who's Live get started? Uh, it started in England. It started on the radio, believe it or not. Uh, and then um, they auditioned over there and then they uh, came over here and auditioned for a bunch of Americans to do it and it was a lot of Brits and one American then it got to be two Americans two Brits and then the Americans kind of took over so they moved it out here after that way before you were born way before you were born my mom said she watched you when oh, she was probably a little way before girl. your mom was born I would think yeah. but you're not that old I'm, I'm 74 years old well that's not too old do I look 74? No. Okay, thank you. You look 24. Thank you, Emmy. <laughs> thank you. Make sure you... 24, she said. Yes. Question number two. Is it hard to make people laugh every day? Uh, every day? Well, sometimes you don't feel like... You know, when you do interviews, is there sometimes you don't feel like doing an interview? Yeah, yeah it's kind of that same kind of thing. But then once you get going, it's kind of fun, you know. Yeah. Uh, and then when you, it's over, you, you get tired and you go home and... and sleep until the next time and a lot of a lot of traveling but it's fun yeah i like it do you like making people laugh well i'm i do i mean but my brother is the more he tells too many jokes oh he does too many jokes yes he'll be like hey emmy knock knock every 24 7. here's a joke that you might not get it might be it might be an adult joke what do you call a guy with a rubber toe what roberto get it that's okay. You can tell that one at school. Um, but my brother, he got a joke book for Christmas from Santa, but it kind of said, like, it says jokes for every single day, but one time it said a couple bad words. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. but he... I never, ever say bad words. Okay, sometimes. sometimes. We watch some of oh, okay, your videos. Okay, you know, we why know. Why don't you ask me if you, you know about my bad words. Yes, I do. Uh, question number three. What has been your most embarrassing moment on stage? You might, live. Oh, live, not on the TV show. Well, either way. The TV show I broke. You did, you see, did you watch uh, the TV show? Yes. Did you see the time I broke the lights with my head? No. Well, you might want to watch that one. That was a little embarrassing. Okay, that sounds... And then one time on stage, I forgot to put my clothes on, so I came out completely no, naked. No, yeah. uh... Uh-huh. No, that's Wait, a lie. No, I'm lying that again. Was, that's mean, a lie. I lied. I don't think you would come out naked. No, all. not at my age. On purpose? No, no, no. I mean, I don't think you would do no, that. No, I wouldn't. The stage, it's, there's doors that say stage doors. That's right. I and think I would you would know. That's exactly right. Unless you can't read. stage door, put on some clothes in a lot of theaters. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But I think you wouldn't do that. Just, no. I think you can read. You're, you're right. You know people. You must have interviewed a lot of people. Yeah. You seem to know people. I mean, you've been through middle school and elementary school and high school and a bunch of other things. But some, some you're still school. 24, I'm though. I'm 24, so. so I have my whole life ahead of me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, question number four. Did you always think that you would be a comedian? Um, no, I just know I didn't really want to work a real job because that's hard. You got to get up in the morning and stay a certain amount of hours. You know, I didn't want to do that. Wake up early. What do you? Is this what you want to do when you get older? Mm-hmm. Okay, well, see, it's the same kind of thing. It's a job, but it's not really a job because it's fun to do, right? Yeah. So how can it be a job if it's fun to do? Well, I mean, this is fun to do. That's My right. dad is interviewing people, and he, but he sometimes has to get up early. So. All right. But. All right. Some people get up early. You gotta interview them when they're up. Yeah, yeah. I've done a really early interview before. With who? It was with uh, Janice Dean, the Weather Machine. How many, do you know her? No. She well, they live in New York, so they're two hours ahead of us right. here. So it was like seven in the morning. It was super. Did they tell you the weather in New York? No. Oh. What was the point of that then? I don't know either. Well, 
I got to interview her. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's good. You get good experience. And she was nice, so that's good. That's good. It's worth waking up when you have a Who was the day. person that was really not nice? I don't think I want to say oh, that okay. because that's then it will hurt them. you know feelings. what you're doing. You know what you're doing. Yeah. Uh, question number five. How did you come up with your, how do you come up with your ideas so fast every time you do improv comedy? Um, well, you know, I've done it for so long. I've done it, and you work with people that you know, and you've worked with a long time, like these guys I've worked with probably 30 years, so you know each other after a while. So, um, uh, you just don't worry about, you know, you don't worry about it, you just say it. And if it works, it does. If it doesn't, you just move on to something else. You, you can't, if, you know, sometimes things don't work, but that's okay, move on to the next thing, you know. How have you worked with them 30 years if you're still 24? Oh, oh, that's a good question. Well, I grew up in Canada, so there's an exchange thing. So 30 American is 24 Canadian. Oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah. That's really uh -huh. cool. Yeah. Question number six. Have you ever been here to Idaho besides now and tried our famous potatoes? And tried what? Famous potatoes? Our famous potatoes. Everybody eats potatoes. Well, yeah, but like from Idaho. Oh, yeah. Aren't they all from Idaho? Who else makes potatoes? There, I feel. And don't I look to your dad for help on this one. Who else makes tomatoes? Me, or to <laughs> someone I interviewed, they said it was like Alaskan potatoes. Oh, they're lying to you. There's no potatoes in Alaska. I like tater tots. That's my favorite potato. Well, but then if they don't make potatoes in other places, how do they get them in like Utah? You ship your potatoes out. Your potato, your Idaho potatoes are everywhere. I didn't know that. Yeah, have you ever done <laughs> potatoes? Uh. What? Or, or pick so, them off a potato wait, tree? Have you ever picked nope. them off a potato tree? I think they grow on bushes. Oh, they do? On uh, bushes? <laughs> I'm not. You might want to check into that. Sure. <laughs> we can get potatoes after your show. I'm going to come. We could go out for potatoes. That's a good idea. Do you have potato bars here? Uh, I don't know. We'll have to check into that probably. Well, yeah, and we could obviously. We can just go to a potato cellar. Mm -hmm. We can. A boil the potato and eat it. I don't know if I want to go to a well, potato like cellar. Left. I don't think that sounds very safe. Someone ate a raw potato once I interviewed. They ate a raw potato. While you were interviewing them? No, but like they were at a farm and the guy's like, here, have a potato. And the farmer said that and it was just a raw potato and he had See, to eat it. wouldn't do that because they're covered with dirt, aren't they, until you peel them? Yeah. Well, on Sunday we usually eat mashed potatoes, so you can come over to your house on Sunday. Am I invited on Sunday? Yeah. I'm going to have to fly back then because I'm going home, but I'll fly back on Sunday for a potato. Do you put dill in your potatoes? Dad makes them. Oh, oh, so Dad makes them? Know. I can't make it. I'll try another time, maybe in the summer or something. Well, I like to make them too. You do? How do you make them? I usually help him peel the potatoes. And That's the hardest like part. Well, I mean, it's pretty easy. Except one time I cut my hand. Oh, you did? But, yeah. yeah. I did nothing but peel potatoes when I was in the joint. Really? Yeah, day after day. That's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot of potatoes. Did you hurt your hand a no, lot? No. I was a pro 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 professional potato peeler. That's all I did all day. Yeah. <laughs> um, what advice do you have for me? Which question is this you didn't say? Seven. Ah, what advice do I have for you? Um, I would just say, do what you're doing. As long as you're having fun doing it, right? Well, then just keep doing it. Just yeah. keep doing it. And if someone's rude to you when they when you start an interview with them, even if you just started, you go, I think I've had enough, and just walk out. If they're going to be mean to you, right? Well, that might be a little mean to do. So. And also, you know what would be nice? If you brought a potato for your guest. Uh, we actually send everyone I interview a card, a seven questions pen, a seven questions keychain, and... We send them a potato, a spuddy buddy. It's not a, a real buddy. potato. They're stuffed animal potatoes. That sounds fantastic. So you'll get one. You know, do you ever eat the little potatoes? The little tiny ones? Wait, what? They're called uh, new potatoes, like small potatoes? Yeah. I don't know. Sour cream oh, yes. You put dill on them and yeah. We never really put them and on them. And you like oh. french fries probably, right? Um, of course. Yes, of course. Of course. Who doesn't like French oh, fries? Oh, French fries with mustard are my if favorite. If you don't like French fries, I think you're a little bit crazy. You're not American, that's for sure. Yeah. <clears throat> probably a commie. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Okay, it doesn't matter. Okay, I have a couple of bonus questions. A couple what? A couple bonus questions. Oh, bonus questions? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, one is, can you tell me a joke? 
I just told you a joke. Rubber well, toe. You I don't know. remember rubber toe? Yeah, I do, but like a very, oh the funniest one you have. Let me think of it. That would make me laugh. I'm going to try not well, to laugh. Let me think about one that I can tell. Would you say you're 24? How old were you? I'm eight. Eight. <laughs> and I can tell an eight-year-old. What's brown and sticky? What? A stick. <laughs> I didn't say they were good I've ones. heard that one before. Oh, you before. have? Of course. So that's why I'm laughing. Of course you've heard that one before. There's no new jokes. Thank you so much for joining me today, Ryan. Well, thank you. I'm sorry there was only seven questions and two bonus questions. Well, and I'm sorry you heard the sticky joke already. It's honestly... But you didn't know the rubber toe joke. No. Okay, so that's a new one. I'll tell you a joke. Can okay, I tell you? Okay, I want to hear it. I'll guess it. I'll guarantee you I'll guess it. Okay, guess it then. All right. What's your joke? So, <laughs> it's kind of You're already inappropriate. Laughing. This must be really funny. It's what? It's inappropriate. It's inappropriate. Well, you can't tell me your dad's taping this. How well, can you tell me? Well, I've told someone. I've told Drew Barrymore it. Okay. Well, it's not right. any swear words or anything. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Why was the toilet paper afraid to cross the road? Why was the toilet paper afraid to cross the road? Because he was afraid he might get wiped out? Because of the crack. Okay. <laughs> Did Drew Barrymore laugh? Chris oh, good. You might end up on. Uh, we might switch jobs someday. I might be interviewing you. I'll you? interview people while doing jokes. That's great. I'll we give them the a joke every question. Don't steal my rubber toe joke, though. Make up okay. your own jokes. Okay. I can't promise. You're a good interviewer. I had fun. Thank you so much. Make sure you watch who is, um, whose line is it anyways, and if they come, if whose live comes to your town or city, you have to watch. They are hilarious. Bye! Thanks so much for watching. Remember, new set of questions and interviews are posted every Thursday. Be sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Love you guys! Bye! Idaho Falls Pediatrics, proud of you supporting kids in our community and seven questions with Emmy.